So hey guys, welcome back to another Axel Sense 2 video and in today's video I'm back with another interview and I'm here with Kerry Haley. Kerry, how are we? I'm fine, thank you, you? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you very much for going on the channel. That's, thanks for having us. It is a pleasure and so am I right in saying you're a world to wait who's 2-0? That's correct, yes. Brilliant, okay, and so if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed, please do so, like if you do need like video, and let's get straight into it. So, I'm going to start off with a question which I always like to start off with, why did you start boxing? Um, It's a bit of a sad one for me, really. I started, I lost my mum to breast cancer, okay. um, coming up 11 years ago now, um, and I just started a charity event for mm. boxing for cancer research. Mm. So once I seen it, I thought, boxing's something I've always loved and watched uh, growing up, mm. and I thought why not do something different like people do sponsored walks sponsored runs mm. then when i seen it i thought why not what what have i got to lose mm. um so unfortunately that's how i got into boxing um and as soon as i stepped through the gym doors done the training just everything about it absolutely loved it mm. well of course i mean i'm sorry to hear your loss and uh, i mean it's good to see that you've managed to turn that into somewhat of a positive thing and I mean, you see a lot of people now, that is quite a big thing, but I'm sure that kind of side of boxing to get through it through kind of charity work was maybe not so much of a big thing back then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, boxing, especially female boxing, it, it's yeah. massive now. And um, I'm 35 at the minute, so yeah. probably born in the wrong era to see the, yeah. the full potential of yeah. the sport and, and the, young, the youngsters coming through. Um, but we've got some really good talent in the sport um, and give the men a run for the money. I know two minute rounds, but the exciting fight yes. that we're seeing at the minute. Yes, indeed we are. And so just for yourself, did you have much of like an amateur background or much of an unlicensed background? Um, I've done two of the charity events um, and then they brought like an unlicensed scene out to, for the next step up for people who wanted to, to continue to do it. So I give that a go. Um, so I had seven fights in total mm -hmm. as unlicensed and then I jumped over to the amateurs but that was always in my mind the age, am I good enough um, had a word with my coach at the time Neil Martin um, and switched from the unlicensed gym over to an amateur affiliated gym in Horton mm -hmm. um, and never looked back really had a, had quite a, quite a short career because of Covid mm -hmm. when that hit um, but two silver medals and a gold medal at Harangay, so pu pushed for fights and did quite well. Mm, that's great achievements. And so why did you end up turning professional when you did? Like I say, with my age, going, going back to that again, it was like now or never. And yeah. I think COVID made us make the decision sooner rather than later because at mm -hmm. the time I was training for the elite championships mm -hmm. um, and COVID hit just before that in the middle of the training so it was either now or never and I think that changed my mind a little bit but the thing with professional boxing amateur boxing professional boxing is a business mm. and it's not easy it, it, it's really difficult to, to get anywhere in the sport mm -hmm. no indeed I mean you've faced your own kind of adversity and we'll kind of touch on that in just a moment but I mean of course in your actual fighting side of things you're two and no doing very well and uh so which fight would you say out of them two you performed your best in? I would say my first one, um, okay. probably me, probably my debut. Um, with all the letdowns, I, I had to perform, I had to show what everybody what I was about and, and that's me. I'm improving as I'm in there. Mm. Uh, that was a long time out of the ring. Uh, I've got a fight coming up in five weeks and five weeks out from, from my next professional fight. But yeah, I yeah, really enjoyed it. It was worth waiting for. It was worth all the setbacks just to, to get out. And, and yeah, I was quite happy with my performance. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Well, I mean, of course, like you said, you've got this upcoming fight, but you have faced a couple of cancelled shows, unfortunately. And so how kind of frustrating is it to train for a show and then it be cancelled? It's devastating. I, I don't see when you get in the ring and you're boxing, and that's the finished product. That's mm. that's all of the hard work that you've put in in the gym behind the scenes. What people don't see, yeah. it's your family life. It's it's the time away from your family. And um, actually, work, I work full time as well, so trying to work full time and train full time um, and be the best I can in the ring as well. It it, it is difficult. So to train for it to be cancelled and I mean I've had four letdowns it's not just one or two it's yeah. 
a lot of people would have given up, but it's not in my nature. Mm. Um, I, I want a I want a box. I, I don't do it for the money. Mm. Um, you've got to be a ticket seller. Yeah. That's one of the massive things. It, it it's all money, and if you can't sell the tickets, they, they have no problem in just pulling you off the shows. Yeah. It it's massive being having the support behind you, um, and it's selling tickets and and making it for for it to be cancelled even even worse um, on your fans as well, and then you're expecting them people to come and support you the next time. Well, is it going to go ahead? And a lot of people hold off, which I can't blame them, because mm. it's not cheap for the tickets. The tickets are like fifty pounds mm. at least. Um, and obviously it's getting to the venues and, and then I'm just saying oh, they've arranged babysitters, things like that and yeah. oh, actually it's not happening anymore, mm. so it's devastating for me as well as the people who do buy tickets to come and watch mm. No, of course, I can imagine and so I suppose just for yourself now you have finally got a date and things that seemingly are going ahead what would you say is your current motivation? <sighs> It, it's a lifestyle for me. I, before boxing, I, I was always in the gym. I've been a swimmer to a high standard. I've played football. i uh, always been a gym goer. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't find it hard to get motivated. Obviously, getting a fight date, it, it pushes you a little bit more and you've got something to train for. And that's when I start obviously stepping it up to training twice and sometimes three times a day just mm -hmm. to get the work in. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm quite... I find it quite easy to get more of it because I love what I do. Okay, that's good to hear. And uh, so, I mean, now you've got this June eighth fighting up and coming. And so, overall, how's preparations been going? Um, really well at the minute. I uh, managed to get uh, another week off work, even though the last show was cancelled. So okay. that's the main thing is trying to fit everything around work, which works been brilliant with us. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to really pick my training up now, twice a day. Um, just I haven't long been in for the from the gym now, and then I'm lucky enough to have a treadmill in in the shed, so I'll be going to do a two miler, and okay. um, before it's time to get showered and then bed to do it all again tomorrow. Indeed, no, I respect the grind, and uh, so I mean, do you have a possible opponent yet, or not quite yet? Not quite yet. We we aren't getting matched now, but mm -hmm. to be honest, uh, as long as I've got an opponent, mm -hmm. I'm not really bothered as long as they're my weight and. As long as I've got an opponent on the night, then I like a tough fight. I like it. I like I like a fight. Um, so yeah, opponent wise, not not such yet. I haven't. Okay, okay, and uh, I mean, just for yourself, what would you say makes yourself interesting as a fighter? Um, like like I said just there, I, I do. I like the fight. I can mm. box. Um, I'm quite a technical boxer. I like to get stuck in, and I'm and I'm a front foot fighter, so mm. I'm quite. I'm in your face whether you like it or not. I'm like I'm coming to coming to box. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I've always been in quite exciting fights, okay. I would say. Okay, brilliant. And uh, so I mean now you're getting this fight date and hopefully more to come. Would you still like to have quite an active year this year? I would love to. I I would like to be out I, I would fight every week if I was allowed to. Mm -hmm. Um but obviously the shows are few and far between. Mm -hmm. Especially this this one that I'm on the fight zone show on the 9th of June, um, it's actually down in Liverpool. Okay. So I have got to travel a little way to, to get there, but that's that's not an issue either, um, travelling a way to fight. So, yeah, okay. all good. Good to hear. And, I mean, with the current kind of development of, I suppose, Newcastle kind of boxing, that's been going very well recently as well. And, uh, I mean, that Fight Zone show that did unfortunately get cancelled had some very good names on it. And, of course, Matt Room's been there recently. And so what's your thoughts on the development of kind of North East boxing? It, it's definitely up and coming. And we've got some really good female and male boxers in the North East. Like, like you say, that Matt Room's been up. But not everybody in the northeast gets opportunities on big shows and yeah. um, so and it's not easy to get on shows if you're not a ticket seller which i find it difficult to get on shows and mm. um, because you've got to agree to, to sell a certain amount of tickets and um, obviously your, your opponent costs and yeah. it, it, it is a business so it's only understandable but there's some massive talents in the northeast mm -hmm. 
um, which a, a few are starting to travel further down the country to try and get on shores and we haven't really got any big promoters up here at the minute to oh, yeah. to push mm. so it's just as and when you can get on these shores and, and to perform to to say look it is worth coming up here it is worth getting your shores up here there's some really good talent mm. indeed and i mean for yourself i mean you said you'd like to have quite an active year and possibly if you end this year maybe five or six and oh and then at that point you could possibly be looking at quite high level titles and so is there any possible names out there that you'd love to fight like I say, any opportunity that, that arises, I, I will take with both hands. I'll grab with both hands uh, just to get on a decent platform, to get on a good platform, to, to showcase what like I'm about, what other boxers are about. Um, and, yeah, I would love to have a busy year with all the setbacks I've had. Um, and hopefully once I get this three and third fight down, then that opens the doors to challenge for things. Um, I was offered a Commonwealth title okay. fight. But because I'd only had me two fights, mm. I, the boxing ball wouldn't wouldn't clear us to fight. So okay. that was a little bit more of a kick in the teeth. Mm. So I'm hoping once this third fight gets gets through and um, it opens more doors for me to challenge for things. Yeah. So I'm quite excited to not overlooking this fight at, at all. But yeah. um, I'll be glad to to get the three three fights under my belt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. And uh, I suppose for yourself, uh, how far do you believe you can go? It's like when we go different places sparring. Mm -hmm. I'd, I've always got doubt in my mind. I always doubt myself, no matter what I've done. Okay. Um, it, it's just built in as I'm my own worst nightmare, my own worst critic. I can always do better. But when I do go away and spar, I think... I do shock myself a little bit to think, well, actually, I, I, I am up there with, with with top fighters, top class fighters. So it all goes on opportunity. If I get the opportunity, yeah, I would love to, to fight for world titles, and I think I'm quite capable of being in the in the ring with them with them girls. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant to hear. Okay, well, I'll leave it with this final question, which I always like to ask. You've got a little bit of a platform here. Would you like to shout anything out? Um, no, just thank you very much to my sponsors, which I will tag them when once I share share the video on on social media. Um, I find it really hard to get sponsors, um, and they do help massively. It is a massive like cost to to box you, you without your equipment, um, just yeah. the your medical and everything. So they do help out massively. Um, so I just like to thank my sponsors, um, and obviously my partner for sticking by is. Um, through everything that we go through mm -hmm. indeed of course and uh, so I mean thank you very much for doing this maybe a little bit further along down the line we can come and have you back on yes that would be great thank you for having us brilliant okay and so if you are new around here and you haven't subscribed please do so like the video and thanks for